out of Texas today, officials are investigating an attack on dozens of beehives. Uh, this comes from the Hill. So police in Texas are investigating after an arsonist destroyed dozens of beehives, killing hundreds of thousands of bees. Um, they're estimating about half a million bees that had already been killed when the uh, officer showed up and put out the fire. Um, then they also had a quote from a person by the name of Stephen Brackman, who was the head of a local beekeeping organization. He said, every colony that we lose is a major catastrophe to the environment. This goes past vandalism that is just basically criminal. Um, I think that's an understatement, to say the least. It's basically one of the most heinous crimes I could think of today, um, possibly with, you know, the exceptions of, of murder, maybe. But even then, like, killing a half million bees, I think, is almost worse than murdering almost. someone. I mean, it's, I'll, I'll go out there I, and, <laughs> and say it's, it's infinitely worse. Yeah, I was going to say, like, I, I've been hedging because I don't... Because we're afraid my... that people are going to be like, oh, oh, ooh, but murder yeah. has to be the worst. Uh, no, nope, this like, is worse than one my fucking... My feeling... Yeah. Yeah, my feeling is definitely like, this is worse. It's just, I, I hedge because, yeah, people be like, oh, well, mass murder is bad. No, no. But I mean, when you kill an individual, you kill the individual. When you kill half a million bees, that could seriously damage the ability of all life on Earth to survive. Or at least, you know, mammals that depend on plants or things of that nature. Um, you because... are... You are endangering a large part of the ecosystem in a way that is not only unnecessary and deeply problematic considering that bees are already dying it it's also like that was a that's a lot of living creatures to just wipe out for no purpose yeah and we've talked about it before like i was I was never the kid that just like stomped on ant hills. I didn't, you know, burn ants alive. Um, I, I tried to set one on fire one time with a magnifying glass and felt really bad about it. And it didn't even hurt it, um, let alone actually kill it or catch it on fire. I think it just got warm and then I felt bad. Um, I just, I can't imagine what would, <laughs> I, what, what would justify, you know, just the, the mass murder of millions of bees. Um, it just doesn't sit with me. Or didn't you say think, half a million? Uh, half a million, yeah, that was the initial estimate, so it may be more. Um, but yeah, half a million, hundreds of thousands, however you want to phrase it, I mean, it's still a mass murder. Um, and I don't know, I mean, like, I've never been totally comfortable with, like, I'm okay with preventative pest control, I think, but I don't know a lot about it, but I know when, um, you know, you call the the pest control guy to come in and get rid of roaches and things of like that like even that never really sat well with me i mean they're a pest but i just i don't like death i don't like killing things and this in particular it's it's just an order above that like it says you said it endangers so much more it was it's also to take a pantera phrase it's a a vulgar display of power to wantonly burn a, the, the colonies of another, of another species where <clears throat> regardless of the fact that one, you know the bees are it, they are less complex to our eyes in, in a, a number of different on, on a number of different axes regardless of that the, the magnitude of one person just wiping out 500,000 of anything that's alive, I think is horrific. It wouldn't matter if it was trees or, um, I mean, even if it was like blades of grass, like, why would you do it? Why would you just choose to, oh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kill 500,000 stalks of grass that even at that level, it seems just like cruel and unnecessary and vulgar.